All right, guys, so after this past uh, week of chaos, category four or five, I don't know, but this is pretty bad. We finally have a little bit of normalcy uh, in our life. And uh, after being in Asheville and just seeing the horrific stuff uh, that uh, took place there, uh, we wanna actually go out and uh, buy some supplies uh, and uh, uh, donate some of that stuff uh, to there and also to local uh, facilities uh, that will be actually administering some of this help uh, uh, there uh, and other affected places. Okay guys, we made it to Lowe's. Thank goodness they restocked. Just three days ago, we had no water here in Boyle Springs after being hit by a hurricane and it was sold out nearly everywhere. Now we're starting to see more of it available, which is a good sign that recovery is underway locally. So we just uh, finished loading up uh, the pallet of water. I don't think it's gonna be this heavy guys, honestly. Uh, and uh, we decided that instead of waiting for tomorrow, uh, we are actually going to go down right now uh, to Asheville and drop off this case, uh, actually the pallet of water. And I want to bring my kids along with, uh, with me as well. I know, I know, and I know some of you are going to say, oh, why are you bringing your kids? Uh, listen, I want my kids to see, I want my kids to witness uh, so they can appreciate uh, the the beautiful life that they have here in South Carolina. Uh, so we're gonna stop by some places, uh, hopefully check out a few places where we were yeah, a couple days ago and we'll see who needs water and uh, we'll, we'll drop to appropriate places. Uh, because I know water, if, if you don't have, well, right now, especially during this disaster, uh, some people lost their wells, uh, some, uh, there's uh, no public water. Uh, like just seven days ago, Literally, I didn't have water for uh, three days. Yes, I had some stored water, but I didn't have, my well wasn't working and I know what it's like. I was actually worried. If I wouldn't find a generator, I would be in a similar situation. Uh, so I bought some water uh, for myself uh, just so I can have, but this whole pallet is, is uh, going back. It's actually going to Asheville. And I know this is just a small little, uh, small little part that I can do but I'm gonna be going up there and helping out uh, uh, not just bringing the water but uh, hopefully this week we can actually volunteer and uh, uh, do some good uh, do some good to these uh, people that lost everything uh, yes uh, many of you guys are saying uh, where's FEMA where's uh, Red Cross where are all these organizations that are supposed to be helping uh, and you're right uh, and I'll tell you where they're at well, I'm not sure. I actually it's don't. South, it's South, it's Carolina. South Carolina. It's actually South Carolina people that are actually helping. Uh, and they're going uh, from Tennessee, uh, people from Georgia, people from other states that are actually coming in. They're pouring in and uh, uh, taking, uh, taking initiative in helping, bringing supplies, uh, your essential needs uh, that need to be met. They're bringing those supplies. And I seen that firsthand when I was uh, driving through and looking uh, what do people have uh, what do they need uh, some I know like my, my previous video some people were bashing hey if you're not if you're not bringing supplies uh, what are you doing stay home well number one everybody needs to see what's happening how can you make people aware if they don't see I, I, I don't understand that I honestly don't understand that some people are just ignorant and they don't know uh, that when there are people videoing, uh, actually filming this stuff, this, is br this brings awareness and more people want to take initiative, more people want to help. So we just entered uh, into a Black Mountain uh, city. Uh, we're gonna drive through the houses uh, that were uh, basically were devastated by the storm. Uh, see if we can help uh, and uh, see what uh, they will need, uh, so we can come prepared a little bit uh, more prepared for the next uh, trip. Uh, this is gonna be this week. Uh, so 
but today I know it's, uh, the water is essential and uh, we will be doing that we we're going to be we're going to be giving the water away uh, so yeah guys right here you see all that that's mud i got a lot of mud in the house around the property so pretty much all these houses you see down the road mud just went in and flushed the whole house is here so there's a lot of work I was just, uh, I didn't take my camera with me. I just don't want to be that guy who, oh, it's all about uh, video. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's heartbreaking to hear what people are going through here. It's just uh, heartbreaking. Did they say anything to you? Yeah, they did. Let me see if I can stop here. There's no one there. Uh, let me see. Where's their cars in the garage? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to intrude, but I don't see anybody home. Maybe s let's see where there's people outside walking or doing something. Because a lot of people are lost gas. There's no power here. So who knows if they can get places. So we'd rather deliver. I know there's stations, but I'd rather deliver in person. Yeah, I'd rather stop by houses, see if they need the water. Let me stop by here. Let's see if this... They're probably different. Uh, so he said no he, they don't need water right now he says to just get to the people that need water okay so let's go further yeah we're gonna go further and uh, see who needs water he's gonna stop by houses and ask well at least he's honest i'm not just taking advantage of it you know yeah if he probably knows that people need it more than him which is a very kind of people to do that Guys, check this out. Literally, the infrastructure collapsed. Very sad, very sad. Okay, man. Guys, see this? This car was swept up. Four trailers down. So I stopped a few places uh, and uh, some some of them picked up water, some said uh, we already have water, which is a good sign, uh, but this lady directed me to this another place, uh, I need to find it right now, she said that there's another trailer park that uh, probably would like to see you there, uh, so I'm trying to find this uh, trailer park, hopefully, I think it's right here, going that way. So we're gonna have to turn around since uh linemen are working yeah linemen are working right now yeah. uh, so we are actually gonna go I, I guess i didn't find the the trailer park uh, she said uh, she told me this lady that uh there's a trailer trailer park that is very devastating devastated by the storm uh, and uh they might need water there but i couldn't find it so we'll see if I can do a little bit more of a search in here.
After searching for the third trailer park without luck and with curfew approaching, we decided to return to the church where we had stopped a few days earlier. This local church works with many organizations, providing essentials to those in need. They have been actively involved in rescue efforts and distributing supplies to the community. I feel good about leaving the rest of the water there, and I also will find out what else they need for our next trip, so we can bring more with us. Look at Scarlet, wow! I'm impressed! Scarlet, good job! Scarlet's trying to use a knife. Careful. Good job, Bridget. You're a strong girl. A lot of good supplies, guys. All right, guys, we are going back home. Uh, after eventful day today, uh, we learned a lot what people need here locally. Now, uh, talking to the church uh, people here uh, who are providing a lot of assistance, they said we have a lot of uh, essentials, but what people are asking is coffee and uh, detergent. That's something not many of them have and uh, they and it's hard to come by uh, around here uh, so if anybody's gonna be donating donate coffee detergent uh, to Black Mountain here locally they have a lot of places uh, where you can uh, stop and donate uh, but it's just devastating to see how much damage there is here this was the train going through here as you see so it cut off all the train supply there's a house oh, Literally looks like it, there was an earthquake here, guys. Like, this is what normally you'll see when you see earthquakes. But this is from the water. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is a Baptist church. Literally, this is crazy. It looks like an earthquake. And uh, as we're going back, it's just more devastation. Uh, some of the streets are just uh, a whore, honestly. So if you're coming to Black Mountain, uh, please bring 
detergent and coffee because uh, there's not much of it here. And we will be coming back here uh, with uh, some of those supplies and uh, this is gonna be a trip uh, where we're gonna go and buy some of this stuff and uh, bring back to church so they can spread that out. Uh, we're gonna be coming back here uh, to volunteer to help clean up. Uh, today was uh, a water drop off and uh, there's gonna be more trips uh, to this city because this city has uh, suffered a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.